Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And just a forewarning, the messages today are very, very... Um, just different. They, the energy is different. It is almost too honest for me to read any other way other I'm than, sure and then my watch thinks I'm talking to it. Honestly, Gemini, today's just a weird day. So just bear with me. We have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Again, the energy is coming through so strong, um, so clear. Uh, there's no room for any cookie cutter stuff. That's basically what I'm trying to say. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, Temperance right then and there. I'm seeing so much stuff that I'm just like, I cannot skip over this. I can't sugarcoat it. There's definitely something happening right now in your situation where you could have recently went through a heartbreak, maybe distance, maybe a separation. Maybe you and someone decided that it's time to break apart in order to work on each other, right? I feel like with the Temperance, Maybe you're connecting to a Sagittarius. Maybe you have Sagittarius placements. But it kind of feels like time needs to do its thing. I feel like maybe you've been dealing with a situation where you have tried your best to make something work within a timeline that you thought was possible to work in. And now the universe is saying, you know what, Gemini? Maybe this is not the time. Maybe you need to work on yourself or work on something else so that this other situation can come back to you when it is the right time. And I also want to say, I'm not trying to, you know, kind of give you any false hope. If something is not meant to be, you will know that it is not meant to be and that this is a permanent separation, right? Because sometimes things are not meant to come back into your life if they are not meant for you in general. So a lot of you need to be very aware of what you hear and how you perceive it because sometimes you'll hear something and think, oh, so it's supposed to come back. That is not always the case. And in fact, I would even argue that the temperance could also resemble that right now it may feel as though this is temporary, but maybe you will understand over time that something is out of your life for your best outcome, right? For your best interest. There's something that is being removed so that you can be better off in the long run. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, some of you already have this instinctive kind of like knowledge that you're supposed to be somewhere else or you're supposed to do something else specifically for those of you that kind of have fallen out of love with a career or a job you can feel it within you that there's something out there that is really meant for you something that you can you know see yourself thriving and being happy in and i feel like right now you could be thinking about the situation that recently ended and you could be saying you know what this is proof that i'm supposed to be somewhere else the fact that it didn't work out the fact that I had no other choice but to walk away, that's proof that I'm supposed to be in a completely different environment and situation. But again, time will truly tell. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that's the thing. Right now, you have to understand this is for your well-being um this is for your prosperity this is for your abundance your livelihood whatever is not in whatever is not working or in your life right now gemini it is for the purpose of allowing something else to come in um i feel like with the death card which is scorpio three of wands and the seven of cups some of you are recognizing that there's more than one way to get what you want Right? Just like there's more than one way to get somewhere, like literally, like let's say you want to go to another state, you can fly there, you can drive there. Technically, although I wouldn't recommend it, you could walk there, right? Like there's more than one way to get somewhere. Right now, I feel like that's what you're realizing. So with this death card, yes, it is the ending of a cycle. Yes, maybe things aren't looking the way that you anticipated but what if this is supposed to be how it is now so that you get to where you want to go with more opportunities more possibilities um, i feel like with the seven of cups you're embracing the fact that things can be flexible and that doesn't mean that it's not as good as it's supposed to be right like you're embracing the fact that life is not supposed to be this one-way street 
So whatever this is about in your life right now, I feel like this type of thinking and perspective is only going to benefit you when you apply it to something else. You know, it's almost like you're learning the framework so that when something else in your life needs to be flexible or adapted to, you will be a pro at it. It's almost like the universe is giving you the ultimate like adapting lesson 101. I don't know. Um, let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Hierophant. I mean, not Hierophant, the High Priestess. Um, Pisces energy. I can't even explain, Gemini. Like, the energy is crazy. We have the Star, which is Aquarius, the World card, and the Wheel of Fortune. Do I need to say any more? You are in... You are on your way um, to being set up for complete and total success compared to where you were going before. And sometimes we don't want to hear that, right? We don't want to hear, oh, I'm being redirected because my original plan sucked. Then that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is right now, something is being changed. Something is intervening, right? Divine intervention, universe, the world, God, whatever you believe in is stepping in and literally taking the wheel for you and saying, Gemini, I'm going to steer this a little bit differently and I hope that you trust your gut when I do that because that's how you're going to end up exactly where you want to be. The Emperor card is right behind the High Priestess. Some of you are saying, I trust my gut because I know it's going to lead me to where I want to go. That Emperor card is Aries, but it is also that confidence. That's you believing that, yes, I am on the right path. And yes, I am taking myself there. Even the star resembles this optimism, this hope for the future. But also there is something about you feeling more alive now than you did before, right? Kind of like you're being ignited inside out. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, you will start to believe that this is for you with every passing day. Whew. All right, let's clarify the Three of Swords. Hanged man, Pisces. That's the thing. Right now, you are still kind of like, all right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go all in just yet because I still need to process what just happened. All right. Sometimes I feel like we hear messages or we see readings, and it it kind of maybe makes us feel rushed, right, to act because we're hearing this reader and they're like, oh my gosh, you have to do this and you have to do that. Maybe we're not ready in that moment. So I feel like the universe is saying, I acknowledge that you will go at your own pace. That's that's universe talking to you. It's saying, Gemini, I acknowledge that right now what you need is to just be still and you need to go at your own pace because you're still healing from something. I get it. To further clarify the three of swords, we have queen of pentacles, six of wands, and the ten of swords. It's acknowledging that you're still currently ending a cycle. Um, with that six of wands, though, I feel like this is confirmation that you're going to be more successful after the fact. Right, you will be more successful after you give yourself time to heal, after you give yourself time to recover. Queen of Pentacles, there's a sense of stability there. There's a sense of strength. There's a sense of confidence. You're not rushing your own process because you know yourself well enough. Let's clarify the temperance. Tower. Power at the bottom of the deck and on the floor we have the nine of cups then we have the queen of swords and then we have the four of wands gemini you are well on your way to where you're supposed to be the tower confirms it all this is a tower moment right that's the whole point of these things the eight of cups the three of swords walking away going through a situation that right now feels painful, feels difficult, maybe even tragic to some degree, but it is a tower moment meant to take you to where you're supposed to be. It is supposed to transform. You're going to reach your final destination. Not your final destination, but your your ideal destination for the time being for the situation, right? There will be more destinations in your life. This is not the last one. But with that nine of cups, I really hope you trust yourself and the universe. I hope you can feel that this is better, that this is meant to improve your life. Queen of Swords, feel that power within you because you, you're going to be um, un unstoppable very soon. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.